What's going on guys and welcome to the Mountain Man Medical YouTube channel. My name is Brian and today I thought we would talk a little bit about the contents of our medical kits. This is the Yellowstone kit. It is the larger of our two kits and our best selling one. Um, and uh, today I thought we would go over a little bit about what's inside and talk a little bit about what they're used for and why I chose these particular items over all of the other items that are out there on the market today. So why don't you come on over, we'll take a look and dig inside. All right guys, so this is the kit. It's This is the Yellowstone trauma kit. We have two kits right now called the Sweetwater and the Yellowstone. Uh, the Yellowstone has a few more items in it um, over the Sweetwater. You can treat a few more wounds with it. And, uh, but both kits come in uh, a bag this size. So uh, on the outside here, we've got the hook and loop for your patches. So you can have your medical patch for high visibility. Everybody knows that this is a medical bag and they can go and grab it if you send them to go grab it. And then also the Mountain Man medical patch so that everyone knows that it's a quality kit. Uh, one of the things that was important to me was making sure that we had good quality zippers. Um, I put my medical bags through some pretty austere environments and generally the first thing that fails are the zippers. So I really wanted to make sure that we're including some quality zippers that aren't going to fail at a moment's notice. Got some pull tabs so that you can grab it if you're sweaty, bloody, or in the middle of the night and easy access. On the back here, we can see that we've got this uh, grab handle. I think this grab handle is important for being able to uh, rip it out of the bottom of a backpack if you need to get to it quickly, or you know when you're sprinting to the scene of an emergency. On the back here, we've got the Molly, um, so that you can attach it to your war belt, to your backpack, wherever you have Molly. Uh, one of the things that I like to use is I just got some shears laying around here that I'm going to show you i like to keep them on the outside here and then you just run this strap through and then secure it in place and so that's a good way of uh, keeping your shears on the outside frees up a little bit of space inside your bag so you can stuff more things like band-aids and suckers or whatever you need and uh, it leaves it on the outside nice and easily quickly accessible you can cut people out of car seats, car seat belts, or, you know, whatever you got. All right, now let's break into the middle of the pack, see what we got. I'm gonna start over here on the left and just work my way across. Here we got our permanent black marker for writing vital signs, uh, writing on the tourniquet, the time that you put down the tourniquet, taking notes, taking address, whatever the case that you need. Um, we've got some heavy duty nitrile gloves um, these are going to work for everything that you need it for. Keep the patient safe, keep the provider safe. This is going to work for you. Now, I included two pairs because in my experience, generally you rip the first pair trying to get, get it on. Um, you might rip one or both pairs of gloves in a hurry, and so you've got a backup pair if that happens. Also, if you've got someone helping you out and they need some gloves as well, you got a pair for them. Uh, these are the trauma shears. I've used these. They work. Um, you can zip off somebody's clothes in no time at all. It's got a little um, a blunt end, so you can just run it down their leg and, and uh, get them naked in a heartbeat. These will work just fine for you. Um, back behind there, we'll start off with our quick clot gauze. I have personally used this product uh, for great success. And... Um, Quick Clot is a brand that is pretty commonly known. Everybody knows about it. It's one of those household brands kind of thing. And Quick Clot, it, it does what it's supposed to, it, which is a hemostatic agent. It makes the blood quat, clot a little more quickly, and um, it works. Back behind that, we have our North American Rescue pressure bandage. Uh, North American Rescue, of course, pretty high quality company, very well known. I used a lot of their products in the military. And this is a nice little flat packaging so that uh, your kit isn't too oversized. Let me just go ahead and put these back in. And that's everything that we've got here on the left side of the bag. Over here on the right side, I'll start off with our ACE wraps. 
and these aren't supposed to be called ace wraps these are uh, self-closing elastic bandages and uh, one of the things that was really important to me was making sure that i didn't include in my kit one of these where it's got those little metal clips um, inside in, in my experience you're trying to rip this thing open because you got somebody that needs it and those little clips go flying everywhere and that's how you're going to keep this pressure bandage in place if it doesn't if you can't secure it it's not going to do you a whole lot of good so the hook and loop takes care of all of that you just rip it out wind it around the injury and then hook it to itself and you're done Uh, next to that, we've got some gauze, two little packages. Uh, this will be good for any um, exterior wounds, any lacerations, anything like that. If you have penetrating trauma or a deep wound, you can pack this into the wound and get it up as tight to that uh, bleeding artery as you possibly can and uh, get that bleeding to stop. You can use this in the same way that you would use quick clot. It's just doesn't it's not impregnated with that hemostatic agent, so uh, it's not going to make the blood clot any, any quicker, but it will help to stop the bleeding. And then of course, if you needed to um, uh, bandage any wounds, then you can do that. Back behind that, we have our SWAT T tourniquet. Um, I've had a lot of questions about why the SWAT T over say, the cat tourniquet. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me like, hey, uh, isn't the cat tourniquet better? Why are you including this in your kit? And the, the answer is yes, I do believe the cat tourniquet is better. Um, but not everybody wants to buy a cat tourniquet. Uh, some people just can't afford it. The, these are $30, these are 17. So um, it's cheaper and it, packs nice and flat as you can see it tucks right back in behind and uh, it will work it's an elastic band as you can see you just wrap it around the uh, the uh, extremity nice and tight follow the directions that are here on the back and you will get occlusion of the artery it will stop bleeding um, the reason why most people don't trust this is because it's not approved by the T triple C committee or not recommended by the T triple C committee like the cat tourniquet is. So the reason for that is because of the way that it secures the cat tourniquet. You can secure it very easily. You tuck the windlass into um, the windlass retaining clips, and then you take the hook and loop and secure it in place. And that tourniquet's probably not going to go anywhere. This tourniquet, the SWAT T, you only secure it by tucking it under itself. So it doesn't do, it's not quite as good a job um, for combat. Uh, you might be dragging that casualty for long distances, handing them off to multiple people, pulling them over walls. It could get caught on something and just pull it loose and now your casualty is bleeding to death instead of staying alive like you wanted them to. So. Uh, it's not really the best application for perhaps a combat situation, but these kits are, of course, more geared to uh, the civilian world. And chances are good you're probably not going to be going through the types of situations that the military is. Um, if you are, then definitely feel free to throw this into your medical kit. We uh, offer these as an upgrade on our website so that you will get both the CAT and the SWAT T, and you can keep both in your bag. Now, I recommend keeping this in your bag if you do upgrade to the cat tourniquet. The reason for that is they will, both items will fit in the bag just fine and it'll seal up and you'll be all right. Um, but this is a multi-use item. The cat tourniquet is only good for um, extremity massive hemorrhaging. It doesn't do anything else a one-use item but this item is a multi-use item so you can use this as a pressure dressing you can use it to splint um, as a sling your your options are only limited by your creativity so you can use this for a lot of things besides just a tourniquet so what i would recommend doing is keeping both in there this will also increase 
uh, your ability to treat multiple casualties. If you have two casualties, each with massive hemorrhaging from, a, an uh, from an extremity, then you can treat both of those. Or if you only have one casualty, maybe they have multiple wounds, you can treat more wounds. So keep, the, keep this in the kit. Back behind that, we have our next and last item, which are our hyphen chest seals. And uh, these are quality. These are from North American Rescue. And I wanted to go with the vented twin pack. Um, the reason why I wanted to go for the vented is there are studies that show that this, uh, that the vented is better. This will help to relieve some of the pressure that is building up in the chest and uh, allow some of that air to escape if you've got a sucking chest wound. You just open it, tear it open, slap it over the wound, and you're pretty much done. And there's a little more that goes into that, and I'll go into some more detail in a later video. But for right now, um, these are a fantastic product. They work well. Now, I wanted to go with the individually packed twin pack because since these are used to treat penetrating chest trauma, you might not have an exit wound. Uh, if you get shot in the chest, it does, there's no guarantee that you're, you're going to have two wounds and you need to be able to seal both wounds. You got to seal the entrance and the exit wound or else you're not going to do your casualty any good if you're only block one hole. So you're going to need two, but you don't always have a, uh, an exit wound. So um, if you can't find an exit wound, then you only have to use one chest seal and it leaves the other one packaged nice and sterile and ready to use for the next casualty or for the next situation. So two hyphen chest seals vented and uh, comes in a twin pack. Now, like I said, um, if you do decide to upgrade to the cat tourniquet, which I do recommend, um, you can pack both this one, the cat tourniquet and the SWAT T into the same bag. And what I like to do is I just like take it and fold it up just right in the middle. And then just zip it up. And you can see this is a pretty full bag, but it'll do it. And there you go. This is the Yellowstone Trauma Kit. It has a lot of good items in it. Um, I put a lot of thought into everything that went in and it's gonna be a good kit for you. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out and taking a look at the Yellowstone Trauma Kit. If this is something that you would like to purchase for yourself or for maybe a loved one, you can head over to the mountainmanmedical.com website where we sell our kits. And while you're there, we have some training resources. If this is something that you'd like to get some more knowledge on, uh, I've got a video training series where I talk about some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years from my experience as an EMT and a Navy corpsman and some things that have helped me keep people alive and might help you keep someone else alive or maybe yourself. So head over to Mountain Man Medical, take a look, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, please drop them into a comment down below and I will do my best to answer those to the best of my ability. I'm not a doctor, I'm just a corpsman. So if that's something that you would like to do, go ahead and leave me a comment. And that's it guys. I'll catch you on the next side.